What's going on everybody? Welcome again back to the channel and welcome back for another NASCAR diecast review. Today we're not going to be reviewing one diecast, but we're going to be reviewing multiple cars that I bought a while back, probably about two months ago from the flea market. Um, this was half of a collection, or not half a collection, but half of cars that I bought, like I said, about a month and a half, two months ago. So we're going to do the other half of that video with these cars and these are all like 164 scale nascar cars um hopefully in uh you know i think about another two more weeks we're gonna go to another flea market be one of the last ones one of a couple last ones for the for the year so hopefully we'll have some more stuff to show you but we're gonna do this one and i got a couple other videos i'm gonna be doing so we'll get to this one I'll show you all these nice cool old school cars that i've have got so these are all 164 cars. So this one is a number 14. And this is a Jeff Green car. If you can see that right there. And this is made by Racing Collectibles. Let's see if I can get that. Uh, there we go. See a little bit better. Now I can see Jeff Green's name on there. This is a cool paint scheme. I have uh, can't say I've seen this one before. So I'm going to say this is probably like a bush car. I'm going to say maybe a bush car paint scheme. But it's pretty cool. I don't have this one. A lot of uh, 164 cars that I don't have. It's kind of cool. This next one up it is a number 42 mellow yellow Kyle Petty this is also made by racing collectibles this one's in it says Kyle Petty 1993 one out of 15,000 and it shows a little bit better so I'm sure these are probably, like I said, uh, don't say the trunk opens up, but the hood does. I don't really know how detailed these cars are. I don't want to take them out of the packages. Because every time you do, you end up, you know, somebody tried taking it out once before. Probably before I got it. You know, you always end up ripping these things. So I'll just leave them in there. Kind of shows you each one of the cars have like a little history on it and everything like that. Not a whole lot. Next one is a number 77 Jasper car. This one's a Bobby Hillen. Number 77 Jasper engines, 1997 Thunderbird, one out of 5,000. This one's made by Action. Oh, Action Racing Collectibles. So this one's kind of cool. And I do have a couple of bigger cars that are Jasper, number 77. Um, one, I believe, is a red one. And I think I have one other one that might be yellow. I'm not 100% sure. I know I do have a bigger car that's a red one. But I think I do also have a yellow one. A yellow one. Not 100% sure. No, I do have the red one, but it's not sure on the other one. Next one is a number 90. I don't know what that says. Chamelon. Chamberlain, Chamberlain, I don't know, Chamberlain, C-H-A-M-E-L-E-O-N, Camelon or something like that, sunglasses from Corning, and this is amazing. made by Racing Collectibles too, I don't want, uh, oh there we go, Junie Dunleavy, I don't know if that was, I think that's a woman, Junie Dunleavy, could be a guy too. That's a real old one. Uh, I'm trying to think. Shows it a year on this one or not. Uh, 1991. So. I'm going to go with 91. So Ford Thunderbird. I know that. Pretty cool car. Love the old school paint schemes though. This one is a. Number 88. Halvelin. I'm going to say this is Dale Jarrett. 
But, um, it's also made my racing collectibles. To find out if it has a name on it somewhere. Oh, I don't see no name anywhere by the driver, anyhow. I know it's not. It could be an Ernie Irvin, too. I know it's not a Davy Allison because he never raced. He only raced 28. So I'm going to say it's either Dale Jarrett, early Dale Jarrett car, or early Ernie Irvin car. Could be Ernie Irvin. Pretty cool car, anyway, either way. <clears throat> Next, we got a number 37 Timberwolf. This is a Mark Green car, number 37 Timberwolf. 1997 Monte Carlo, one out of 5,000. Sometime I'm going to get the uh, bigger version of this one. I've seen it a couple times, just never gotten it. Next up we have a number 55 NASCAR Racers. This is a Kenny Wallace, number 55 Square D NASCAR Racers, 1999 Monte Carlo, one out of 4,500. And the next one we have is a number 21. This is a David Pearson, 1985 Monte Carlo. One out of 16,128. Chattanooga Chew. Oh, that's a good, you can tell that's an old sponsor. That'd be pretty cool if you could, uh, somebody race that paint scheme. Like one of those, uh, <clears throat> when they do the Darlington, uh, Races and I usually have like these different paint schemes and stuff like that. This would be a pretty cool one to have. And I always thought when they do those races that they ought to do the exact same sponsor and everything. But just, you know, of course, um, it wouldn't be that name or anything. Huh? But I mean, it'd be kind of cool though if they just painted them up like they did back in the days. Pretty neat. Next on, we have a number 27, G.I. Joe. This is a Kenny Irwin, number 77, number 77, number 27, G.I. Joe, 1997, Thunderbird, one out of 7,500. I'm going to say the late Kenny Irwin, because he had passed away years and years ago. I can't remember exactly what it was. I don't know if it was a car crash or something. But this is always a pretty cool car. I got a couple of the smaller versions of this one, just like this one, but obviously it's different uh, manufacturer. Winter Circles, I think it was. This one's in action. Like I said, I mean, if you guys, you know, wonder why I don't take them out, I don't want to, you know, take it out of here. I know mean, it probably will, and I don't want to rip this up or anything. But you can, you can see the car. It's not really that much different. They all got rubber tires on them. Next one up is a number, another 21. This is a Buddy Baker, number 21. I got the Hot Wheels version of this car. This is, this is a pretty cool car. I like this one a lot. This will be another uh, Darlington throwback if they could do this one. This is also made by Racing Collectibles. Next up, we got a <clears throat> number 01, 01 Mark Martin Activision car. Yep, 01, Mark Martin 01 Enduro by Activision. 1983 Monte Carlo, one out of 3528. So, not sure if this was a Bush car uh, or it could have been an ASA car, but it says Enduro. Um, 
There was also an, there used to be an Enduro series, but I don't know if that had anything to do with this car. This might have just the sponsor car. But yeah, it was a pretty cool one. I've never seen that one at all. Might have to do a little bit more digging on this one to see what he actually raced this one for. But that'd be pretty cool if you could uh, find this car in a die cast, a bigger one. Next up, we got a number 26, Rich Bickle, KFC car. This looks like it might have been, it might have been a Wednesday Cup car. Um, not sure what you see. Rich, Rich Bickle, number 26, KFC, 1997 Monte Carlo. Okay, 1997. I can't say I ever saw this car being raced. Of course, you know, it might have been like maybe just a one-time deal for maybe a one-race deal or maybe a two-race deal. But nonetheless, another cool car that I don't have. <clears throat> Next up, we got another 87 Texas Pete Sauces. And I'm not sure who this one is. Joe Nemechek. It's a real old one. One thing I like about some of the older cars is like the rims are matched to the same color the car is. Or at least to the bigger part of the same color. It's not something else I wish they'd kind of do on these on the new cars is somehow match up the uh, inner the rim to part of the color of the car. Some cars they do, but not all of them. It's kind of a cool thing. This was made by Racing Collectibles, Ravel. Next up, we got a number 20, Tony Stewart Old Spice. We all know this is a... I'm not sure if that's a Chevy or is it a Pontiac. I can't really tell. Let's look on here and see if it says. Yeah, I don't know if this one says or not. Sometimes they do. It's either going to be a Chevy or it's a Pontiac. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I could tell. It looks like a Pontiac is what it looks like. Um, see if I could open up maybe just part of it. Not ripping anything. It, I don't think that's gonna work. It's gonna rip no matter what. There we go. I got it from the back. So if you can tell from the back, it says Pontiac right there. So we know this is a Home Depot Pontiac, not a Chevy Lumina or anything like that. So that's what I thought. I figured it was a Pontiac. I like the old school Home Depot. I wish Home Depot would come back for a sponsor. Them and Lowe's. That'd be kind of cool. And we got some uh, box cars. I should say boxed cars. We got number 24, Jeff Gordon from 1994. This one, I got this one a while ago. I think I got this from my diecast guy. And I got a couple of these, number 28s. Ernie Irvin, Mac Tool Cars. Looks like they're Fords. Yep, it's a Ford. This is also from... Oh, let's see what's, <coughs> what year this one's from. 1994 as well. Okay. So, got two of those. This is definitely from my NASCAR guy. I remember those. And then this is the last one that I got from the at flea market. This is IndyCar guys. I know it's not NASCAR, but I figured I'd show it to you anyhow. Nigel Mansell, 1993 PPG IndyCar World Series champion. Halvaline, Kmart. Looks like it says Kmart. Maybe it's just Halvaline. Texaco Halvaline, yeah. I don't see no Kmart in there. Just reading it wrong. 
yeah, these are some pretty cool cars. Some of them are pretty old. You know, others aren't, but you know, it is what it is. I like the old school stuff. A lot of people want an arm and a leg for it, but I usually try to, you know, I got most of these cars, just about all of them, except for these up here. These were, you know, at least three came with my, my die cast guy. But all the rest of the 164 cars were like about two bucks a piece. Um, this box one, I think that might have been three, I think, but it's either two or three. No, no more than that. But, um, so there you go, guys. Um, uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, video. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell. And I will look forward to you. I'll be, will be looking forward to seeing you in the next video or telling you or talking to you or whatever it might be. So, see you guys. Be safe out there. See you next video. And again, thanks for watching. Bye.